Thank you so much for joining today in this um, live broadca broadcast <laughs> from out of time. Uh, it's, it's really great to have you here and that you want to participate in this uh, day 14 of the 40 days to um, awakening experience. So that's really lovely. That's great. So I want to start really fundamental and basic um, with with some some groundwork, so to speak, and that is um, uh, say the basics of the mind training. Uh, the first ten lessons of A Course in Miracles that can really be very helpful in in relaxing, in settling down your your thought um, machine, so to speak, and taking it easy, relaxing into that. And uh, so I'm I'm going to go slowly through them, reading the reviews. Um, say the review lessons of the first 10 lessons but holding uh, taking a moment to stand still with it maybe some music in between just to allow yourself to calm down to go within to really connect um, in all stillness in all relaxation as a dedication to to your um, to the stillness within, to the still small voice that you're going to listen to, in fact. It's like it's speaking to you directly. And um, just by relaxing, that comes into your awareness. So that's that's very helpful and, and great, great way to practice too. So, um, yeah, please join me in that. Um, at the same time, allow yourself to, to sink deeply into your stillness, into your quiet zone, so to speak, and uh, open for the communication that is unbroken. And by becoming totally, to listen totally with your whole being to that stillness, and let it overwhelm you in that sense, so let it affect you. That's that's the possibility and um, the simplicity of the instruction in that sense. So, like I said, I used a little booklet. It's like um, I'm sustained by the love of God. It is it is uh, using the first. Um, I'm using the first ten lessons, review of the first ten lessons, and you'll see it is an it is an invitation to letting go continuously. So I'll read it slowly, and, and it will instruct its, your mind. So it starts with this. Nothing I see means anything. The reason this is so is that I see nothing, and nothing has no meaning. It is necessary that I recognize this, that I may learn to see. What I think I see now is taking the place of vision. I must let it go by realizing it has no meaning, so that vision may take its place. Nothing I see means anything. The reason this is so is that I see nothing, and nothing has no meaning. That sounds pretty logical. It is necessary that I recognize this, that I may learn to see. What I think I see now is taking the place of vision. Everything that I say perceive as uh, appearances is taking the place of vision, of wholeness, of oneness, of recognizing my brother as myself. So, uh, yeah, let's let go of that. <laughs> I've given what I see all the meaning it has for me. I've judged everything I look upon, and it is this and only this that I see. This is not vision. It is merely an illusion of reality. Be this is not vision. It's merely an illusion of reality. Because my judgments have been made quite apart from reality. You know, it was based on the things that I saw, the appearances. <laughs> I'm willing to recognize the lack of validity in my judgments because I want to see. My judgments have hurt me and I do not want to see according to them. 
I've given what I see, all the meaning it has for me. I've judged everything I look upon, and it is this and only this that I see. This is not vision. So I do not understand anything I see. How could I understand what I see when I have judged it amiss? What I see is the projection of my own errors of thoughts. I do not understand what I see because it is not understandable. There is no sense in trying to understand it. But there is every reason to let it go and make room for what can be seen, understood and loved. I can exchange what I see now f for this, merely by being willing to do so. Is not this a better choice than the one I made before? So I do not understand anything I see. What I see is in projection of my errors, own errors of thought. I do not understand what I see because it is not understandable. There is no sense in trying to understand it. I do not understand anything I see. These thoughts do not mean anything. The thoughts of which I am aware do not mean anything because I am trying to think without God. What I call my thoughts are not my real thoughts. My real thoughts are the, are the thoughts I think with God. I am not aware of them because I have made my thoughts to take their place. I am willing to recognize that my thoughts do not mean anything and to let them go. I choose to have them be replaced by what they were intended to replace. My thoughts are meaningless but all creation lies in the thoughts I think with God. These thoughts do not mean anything. The thoughts of which I am aware do not mean anything because I am trying to think without God. I am never upset for the reason I think. This is lesson number five. I am never upset for the reason I think because I am constantly trying to justify my thoughts. I am constantly trying to make them true. I make all things my enemies so that my anger is justified and my attacks are warranted. I have not realized how much I have misused everything I see by assigning this role to it. I have done this to defend a thought system that has hurt me and that I no longer want. I am willing to let it go. I am never upset for the reason I think. Wow. So there were, there were the first five. So one of the fundamentals is nothing I see means anything. I've given what I see all the meaning it has for me. I do not understand anything I see. These thoughts do not mean anything. I'm never upset for the reason I think. Hmm. So this is the time then that we let go of that and that we let that just fall apart and and we come in touch with stillness with oh yes wait a minute oh yeah I, I'm not relying on my thoughts oh, I don't have to make my upsets real I, I don't have to do any of that it's like whatever is going on here has nothing to do with the way I perceived it for a moment, of a moment ago. No, I'm going to let what is show me what it is. And and that's not like an, um, a step into fog or anything. No, it's more like, oh, 
remember the place where you actually feel very safe, that you feel comforted and that nothing can happen to you. You feel the glow of the moment, so to speak. You feel so loved and uh, you, f yeah, you feel the safety. So this is, this is where you're being led to. It's like all these thoughts that you have, all these upsets that suddenly announce themselves in your awareness, all the anger that you can feel for just a moment dissipates in, into the place where they came from. It's like from the nothingness they came. And suddenly there's, you go deeper inside yourself and you come in touch with, say, your inner light, your glow, as I call it, like it glows, it's warm, it's safe, it's quiet, it is simple, it's clear. So that is the invitation, especially in this Monday morning meditation. It's like, yeah, take it easy, be gentle with yourself. Um, no, you don't have to do that, what you think you have to do. No, wait a moment, just be patient for just a second. No, you have time to become quiet and still. It's like, no, that's very well invested time. That's con uh, constructively using time. No, just f do this for half an hour. Just stay right here. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> like this is the best gift you can give to yourself. Becoming still, realizing that your normal response as a human being to the surroundings that you find yourself in are not appropriate anymore. They don't work anymore. Not for you. So it's time to settle down into the stillness that is available and and that you can enjoy. So that is the whole invitation. So I will continue later with with more of these uh, lessons because they're so helpful to to calm down. And so another part I want to bring in is is a very lovely um, say remembering of a yeah a forgotten song so i'm going to um i'm going to read that to you too um let me see if i can find it right away otherwise i'll do it later but i it shouldn't be too hard um but it just came up for me to share with you because it's so lovely and it's you recognize it well. Yeah, here it is. So I found it. So let's let's do this in between. So to keep an awareness of this where you are being led to. You know, it's like it's not just doing the exercises. No, it is in its acceptance, in in the letting this come to you. You actually. Um, are led to a place inside yourself and um, so here it's set as being as the forgotten song uh, let me see where it starts yeah here it starts listen Perhaps you catch a hint of an ancient state, not quite forgotten. Dim perhaps, and yet not altogether unfamiliar. Like a song whose name is long forgotten, and the circumstances in which you heard completely unremembered. Not a whole song st has stayed with you, but just a little wisp of melody attached not to a person or a place or anything particular, but you remember from just this little part how lovely was the song and how wonderful the setting where you heard it and how you loved those who were there and listened with you. The notes are nothing, yet you have kept them with you not for themselves, but as a soft reminder of what would make you weep if you remembered how dear it was to you. You could remember, 
Yet you are afraid, believing you would lose the world you learned since then. And yet you know that nothing in the world you learned is half so dear as this. Listen and see if you remember an ancient song you knew so long ago and held more dear than any melody you taught yourself to cherish since. Beyond the body, beyond the sun and stars and past everything you see, and yet somehow familiar, is an arc of golden light that stretches as you look into a great and shining circle. And all the circle fills with light before your eyes. The edges of the circle disappear and what is in it is no longer contained at all. The light expands and covers everything, extending to infinity, forever shining, and with no break or limit anywhere. Within it is joined in perfect, everything within it is joined in perfect continuity. Nor is it possible to see anything outside, for there is nowhere that this light is not. This is the vision of the Son of God, whom you know well. Here is the sight of him who knows his Father. Here is the memory of what you are a part of this, with all of it within, and joined to all as surely as all is joined in you. Accept this vision that can show you this and not the body. You know the ancient song and you know it well. Nothing will ever be as dear to you as is this ancient hymn of love the Son of God sings to his Father still. And now the blind can see, for that same song they sing in honor of their Creator gives praise to them as well. The blindness that they made will not withstand the memory of this song. And they will look upon the vision of the, whole, of the Son of God remembering who he is they sing of. What is a miracle but this remembering? And who is there in whom this memory lies not? The light in one awakens it in all. And when you see it in your brother, you are remembering for everyone. I am the head and not the tail, living on earth from beyond the veil. No weapon that is formed can cause me harm. Living in health, wealth, and prosperity, taking no part in lack and scarcity. I am the flow of abundance, all needs met as the vastness of a sunset. Shining forth deity from my physicality, called to set the captive free, just by being me. A vessel of light so bright, rising to higher heights. Poor me, poor me, I can no longer sing. I now sound the alarm, let freedom ring. Love. 
This is the day the Lord has made. I stand in power no longer afraid. Out of the darkness and into the light, pressing a power of sovereign might. Look here and see a picture of divinity, the truth of you and me. Be still to know who is God, no longer having to live a facade. Gaining the revelation of I and the Father are one, now spoken as the Son. In the stillness, true bliss, as I recover my I amness. Rising from the valley to the mountain top, singing along the way, a little hip hop. Filled with grace, no longer being who I am not. Divine, I'm feeling, fulfilling the sacred plan of bringing heaven to earth with or without a man. I am fulfilling the sacred plan of bringing heaven to earth with or without a man. The divine hand guides me to the truth of my reality. Life begets love. Love begets love. Blessed and highly favored, dressed in the sweet smelling fragrance of liberation, profound articulation and consecration in this incarnation. Peace prevails, love wins, purpose is fulfilled over and over again. Experience the liberality of being free, to just be true to thee, the most important part of me. No longer a thought about the fight I fought. The battle has been won by awakening to the one and my oneness with everyone. Love begets love. Love begets love. Get love. Love begets love. Love you. Do you. Be you. So we continue. So it's good to breathe and sit up straight and move your body if you feel like doing that. Just to yeah, release whatever tension or whatever you feel, you know, like allow that to move and to um yeah, don't hold back. <laughs> So we continue with the sixth lesson, the review. I am upset because I see what is not there. Reality is never frightening. It is impossible that it could upset me. Reality brings only perfect peace. When I'm upset, it is always because I've replaced reality with illusions I made up. The illusions are upsetting because I've given them reality and thus regard reality as an illusion. Nothing in God's creation is affected in any way by this confusion of mine. I'm always upset by nothing. I'm never upset. Wow, I'm always upset by nothing. I'm upset because I see what is not there. Reality is never frightening. 
reality brings only perfect peace. I see only the past. As I look about and condemn the world, I look upon and call this seeing. I hold the past against everyone and everything, making them my enemies. When I forgive myself and remember who I am, I will bless everyone and everything I see. There will be no past and there were no enemies, and I will look with love on all that I failed to see before. I see only the past. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. I see only my own thoughts and my mind is preoccupied with the past. What then can I see as it is? Let me remember that I look on the past to prevent the present from dawning on my mind. Let me understand that I'm trying to use time against God. Let me learn to give the past away, realizing that in doing so I'm giving up nothing. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. I see nothing as it is now. If I see nothing as it is now, it can truly be said that I see nothing. I can see only what is now. The choice is not whether to see. The choice is not whether to see the past or the present. The choice is merely to see or not. What I have chosen to see has cost me vision. Now I will choose again that I may see. I see nothing as it is now. My thoughts do not mean anything. I have no private thoughts. Yet it is only private thoughts of which I am aware. What can these thoughts mean? They do not exist and so they mean nothing. Yet my mind is part of creation and part of its creator. Would I not rather join the thinking of the universe than to obscure all that is really mine with my pitiful and meaningless private thoughts? My thoughts do not mean anything. So let's read one more time the titles of these first ten lessons. Nothing I see means anything. I've given what I see all the meaning it has for me. I do not understand anything I see. These thoughts do not mean anything. I am never upset for the reason I think. I am upset because I see what is not there. I see only the past. And my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. I see nothing as it is now. My thoughts do not mean anything. Wow. That's a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> That's a whole lot of nothing that I started to believe in. Wow. And it's gone. It's, it is nowhere. It is past. It is over. So now healing can come to me or wholeness can come to me. By realizing this altogether and practicing it, accepting it and using it. It's like, oh yeah, wait a minute. Oh no, I'm not upset for the reason I think. No. And all this, all this just just keeps going on. It's like there's so many opportunities to, to realize. Like, no, this is not it. Oh my God. I, I just thought it was. And I don't know. I don't understand anything. I'm I'm here in the say in the uncertainty um, place. I don't know anything, but it can come to me now. I don't know. I it can come to me. It's not limited to just not knowing. No, something else is going on, and I I am part of that. I want that in my full awareness. So what is going on? So what is going on and how how do you access that?
Okay, so here we go. We we relax, we quiet down, we step deeply into our withinness, so to speak, and try to let everything just be for a moment. Forget about whatever you were doing a moment ago. And then we become still and open and receive receptive. Like, okay, I don't know how to do this, but I know there's something else and I want to experience that. So you stop, you stop. That's the only requirement. Stop what you're doing, stop. Just stop for a moment. Take it easy, stop, relax, be patient, listen, open, breathe. <sighs> Release. And maybe close your eyes and make the say yeah, make that connection or come into the remembrance. Allow that. Allow light to come into your mind. So it's like whoa, yeah, why not? Let go. No, it's not that. No, it's not that. No, it's not that. It's right here. Thank you, God. Ah, yes. I feel some gratitude coming up. Yes. Ah, feel the subtle changes in your system. Like, oh, God, yeah, wait a minute. I don't have to live my day as I expected it to go. No, not at all. That's not happening. There's something else going on. I want to experience that today. And now I don't, I, I don't take no for an answer. <laughs> no, absolutely not. So become still and relax, release. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this light. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the light that dispels the darkness. It's like, <sighs> yeah, thank you for that. Thank you that I can choose to, for peace in myself. Hmm. Wow, that's something, isn't it? So you you have the opportunity to remember light is all. No, there's no such thing as darkness. When the light has come, darkness disappears. So this is very fundamental and simple, but it it's a good reminder. It's a really good reminder. So how you connect with light since you you are light you are a light body you are light so light and peace and joy abide in me they live in me it is what i am light and peace and joy wow So light, peace and joy are finding its way into you right now by you opening up for it, being willing to receive it. So how's that going? Are you feeling something is stirring or are you just feeling heavy or are you feeling so bright and light today? Yeah, why not? So light and peace and joy abide in me. They, they are part of my essence. It is what I am. And I can connect with it. No, my thoughts do not mean anything. The past is gone. Um, I'm upset for no reason. I see something that is not there. 
So I don't have to rely on that. That all falls away in this moment. Like that's the healing that occurs. All that falls away. No, there's no weather forecast. No, there's no prognosis. No, there's no political situation. No, none of that. No, this moment is for you to realize, oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm in, say, in full communication with every aspect of creation. I'm a whole part of it. So is everyone else. There's something completely different going on than I expected or saw for a moment. The nightmare of my own making has no reality. Yay. <laughs> Luckily it isn't. Luckily it doesn't do anything. It has no power. There's no power in material sense, is what Joel says. It's like there's no power in material sense. Well, that is the confrontation this morning, isn't it? It's like, no, there's no such thing as that. No, you only see the past, and the past is over. You see nothing, really. The vision that is right beneath or behind all those facade is is the light that's available. That is your reality. Hello, wake up. Like That is your reality. Oh my God, I forgot. And now I remember. Well, that is so great. None of this what I see is real. It has nothing to do with reality. No, it's just a reflection. A reflection of thoughts that are over. So even even the origin of the reflection isn't real. And I base my my idea about myself on that. No more. No more. Don't need to do that. So I'm using a little bit of the light and peace and joy abiding me i think it's less than 92. i'm just using the course today um, oh yeah yeah 93. would you not be overjoyed to be assured that all the evil that you think you did was never done that all your sins are nothing, and that you are as pure and holy as you were created, and that light and joy and peace abide in you. Your image of yourself cannot withstand the will of God. You think that this is death, but it is life. You think you are destroyed, but you are saved. The self you made is not the Son of God. Therefore, this self does not exist at all. And anything it seems to do and think means nothing. Everything it seems to do and think means nothing. Just like we said in the other lessons. It is neither bad nor good. It is unreal and nothing more than that. It is just unreal. It does not exist. It is gone. It is over. It does not battle with the Son of God. It does not hurt him nor attack his peace. It has not changed creation, nor reduced eternal sinlessness to sin, and love to hate. No, all that did not happen. What power can this self you made possess? What power can this self you made possess would contradict the will of God. It's not going to happen. Light and peace and joy abide in me. My sinlessness is guaranteed by God. Wow. So this is your choice. You are what God created or what you made. One self is true. The other is not there. Try to experience the unity of your one self. Try to appreciate its holiness and the love from which it was created. 
Try not to interfere with the self which God created as you by hiding its majesty behind the tiny idols of evil and sinfulness you have made to replace it. Let it come into its own. Here you are, this is you. And light and joy and peace abide in you because this is so. So it's like that is the reality about you. And it's, it is real, not because I say so, but because it is. And you can experience that. So it's like, invite yourself to experience that instead of the pity figure that you made yourself. That you think that you are be based on your past references and all this. It's like, no, that's not you. Forget it. There's a, you can choose to experience you. You as the real you, so to speak. So, so that's the idea. Um, there's no past. The past is over. What you thought about yourself is not true. It's not helpful. It will not tell you anything that makes you happy or peaceful or joyful. So let go. That's not you. Forget it. Give up. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining me in this morning meditation. And um, so a little bit of mind training at the same time. Um, so th thank you. Maybe I'll see you tonight. Um, great that you're here. Um, see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you so much.